Today may have just been one of the best and coolest mule deer hunts that we've ever had in Call of the Wild of all time. We got a pretty big herd of Rocky Mountain Elk out here and I just saw a good sized bull. Right there he is right there as a matter of fact. A really good level 4. Should be about like a 370, 380s bull. So we'll take him on the walk out there and that should have been a smoke shot. Yes it definitely was and he's not going to go too far with that hit. You know, I was wondering why we didn't see any bighorn sheep out here and all of a sudden I looked out in the distance and we got a mountain lion out here at about 300 yards out. Kind of a cool looking red colored one as well. So we're going to hold it right for the spine and go for about a 290 yard shot here and hopefully we can make this happen. Smoked him. Definitely smoked him. I'm a little surprised it didn't just pile right up, but we definitely smoked him. Ooh, there we go. Big old mythical out there. This time we should be able to actually zero in for 320 and hold right on. Where did he go? That's what I thought. Oh man, that shot was cash. Cash money, baby. Woo. Took him at 320 yards on the walk and just smoked him. <laughs> Well, we found where our elk is at. We found our bull piled up right there. <laughs> this glitch is so funny. Like, you can't see the animal's body, but you can see the rack. <laughs> uh, and here's going to be our first mountain lion down right here. 37.3 gold, dark red. Smoked him at 304 yards and made a perfect double lung shot. And here's going to be our big old mythical puma. We smoked him at 328 yards, a 38.4. Look at that shot. Whew. What an epic shot. It was going right for the back of the heart at 330 yards. And that thing was almost a diamond. Oh my God, 38.4. He was literally 0.6 off from being a diamond. And he's a light brown color as well. Ooh, there we go. There's a solid ram right there. 160 yards out. I got a call from a ram, so I knew there was one over here, but we're going for a Texas heart shot, and we got it. He's going down. Woo. That was a pretty epic shot. I'm very impressed with that shot right there. All right, here's our bighorn down right here. A 155 gold, a very solid gold. He's a brown as well. We took him at 171 yards and caught the liver as he was quartering away. Not a bad size ram down right there. Our biggest one so far. Look at the horns. It's kind of like a gray color. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it looks almost like somebody spray painted them with like a, a shiny silver uh, spray paint or like a chrome spray paint. <laughs> All we got to do now is pick up our big Rocky Mountain bull that we got, which is laying right here. A 386 gold. He's a brown color as well. So a really decent rack. We smoked him on the walk at 288 yards from on top of that hill there. So a beautiful bull down. Is there really another mythical mountain lion out there? He's a long ways out, probably about 300. But I do want to take him down. He's quartering almost directly away from us here. So let's see if we can't pull off this shot. Whew, that's going to be a very, very tough shot, but... Frickin' just heart shot him. Oof. All right, let's go pick him up. And the good thing is, is right now, when we go over there and pick him up, uh, right after that, it's going to be mule deer time. So it's going to be perfect. We're going to clear out all the threats to these mule deer so then they can come down here and drink in peace. So let's see how big he's going to be. That's going to be a 38 gold and nothing but heart. That's almost a Texas heart shot. Nothing but heart at 250 yards. But one thing I'm kind of curious about with this here is the fact like it had to have gone through that lung. Do you see what I mean? Like it had to have gone through this left lung here to catch the heart and at least nick it. Look, this is all lung right here. This part is all lung. And from that angle there, it literally had to have gone through the front of the lung to hit the heart. <laughs> but uh, I guess it didn't. I guess it just hit the heart. Nonetheless, a sweet shot at 251 yards. Ooh, we got a max weight gobbler out there at about 100 yards out coming right towards us. Now, if he comes close enough, we might take him down with a bow. We might. But he's going to have to come to... 
Eh, you know what? I think he might. So tell you what, we're going to grab our 300 grand arrows quick, load them up. And then I think we're going to try and actually slide on over here. Is that another turkey out there? Yeah, it sure is. Not quite as big as this one, but we're going to slide over here and try and cut this big old gobbler off. Since he is a max weight, he's diamond potential, and I really want to try and get him with a bow because it's been quite a while since we've gotten a diamond turkey with a bow. Well, it appears that we're slowly losing cover, which is not a great thing, but I think we might be all right because we still have a good wind and we got a bunch of cover in front of us. That should be able to obstruct the uh, sight of this turkey here. And there he is right there, 50 yards away. Now that's definitely not really an ideal shot because I can literally barely see the tip of his head. But we'll try and get just a little bit closer and I think we might be able to crouch up and potentially stand up here all the way. Yeah, that'll work. That'll definitely work. All right, he's about 46 yards right there. smoked him he's down right on the spot man i wonder what in the heck we hit to be able to drop him like that i mean i was holding for his chest but somehow we hit something good because he didn't even flinch normally i can see where the arrow hits but in this case here i can't really tell nonetheless let's pick him up there we go. Ended up getting a right lung shot at 47 yards out and a 4.3 gold dark brown gobbler down. That right there is a really rare occasion because typically if you hit him in the furcula, that's basically like the breastbone, right? You just hit breastbone. You don't get enough penetration to get vitals from that angle. But luckily, we got enough penetration to get a right lung at almost 50 yards and it took him down. Now we got another gobbler out here, but hold up, hold up. Look at what we have next to him. A couple of nice muley bucks. Man, I thought that buck was way bigger. Hold up, I was a little bit wrong on that. He looked massive, but he's only a small three. Both of them are. Nonetheless, now we're gonna go for a 275 yard shot on this gobbler here. No more bow shots. All right, here we go. 275 yards. Smoked him. And he's down right there. All right, so basically what we did is we used the first dot down and we held that right on. And that was about 250 yards. So pretty cool shot. All right, here's our gobbler down right here. And I do believe we should have made a nice lung shot. Yes, we did. Nice right lung shot. 274 yards right to the right lung. And a 4.2 gold brown gobbler. No way. Oh my god, this is pretty funny. I've never seen a mule deer literally completely submerged with water. The only way I could see him is when he picked up his head and I could see his rack. He's not a tiny one. But... Oh, that's funny. I honestly don't even know if it's possible to take that shot. Like, if we hit the water, is it going to go through? I don't know. But let's just double. Ooh, good thing we double checked. That's a giant bull coming in the back there. That should be like a 430s bull. 416, that or four, 403, that's it. Well, what's that one then? He looks way bigger than that. He looks like a 430. Maybe not. Maybe he's like the 390s bull. Okay, so yeah. I mean, he's still big. He's still real big, but he's definitely not anywhere near 430s. There's another buck out there. Super tiny. Really not a lot of decent bucks around here, to be honest. So I guess we'll go for this one in the water. It's going to be a pretty cool shot if we can somehow try and pull this off. Like, I can just see his back right there. It worked! It worked! Oh my god, what an awesome shot. It worked. I literally couldn't even see him, and I don't even know if... Oh yeah, he's floating! He's floating! Look at that! 
Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so now we should be able to try and take down this big old bull out here at about 350 yards. Going for a heart shot. And definitely did not get the heart. Ooh, I think we drilled him that time though. I think we got him that second shot. Let's find out. I mean, how far was that shot? 320, yeah, he was only. Oh man, he was only like 300 plus yards. I shouldn't have held so high. The rangefinder really confuses me sometimes. But there's our buck right there. Wait a second. Yeah, there's our buck. <laughs> he apparently lost his antlers. But he's still coming in. Oh my god, I found him. I found our bull right there. We might be able to get a follow-up. I might have only hit him once. Definitely smoked him that time for sure not a bad bull there but i think he just tipped over right there so i am hoping that we missed him when he was running i am really hoping so if so he should be a very nice gold a very nice one but here's our buck and a 205 but we took a 310 yard double lung shoulder weight shot in the water on that buck completely submerged in the water Holy, what did we just find? What the heck did we just find out here? I do believe that that right there is the guaranteed diamond rack. That's the big rack. Oh my God, that's that's like 320 plus right there. Look at how freaking huge that thing is. Oh my God, that's a giant. Holy. So we're over here trying to pick up our bull elk that we shot, which is laying right here. And then I spotted a bunch of turkeys out here and I was thinking like, okay, I want to go for a 400 yard shot on um, this nice, really cool looking gobbler out here, right? With a 22. And all of a sudden I looked over here and I saw that guy. Holy. I mean, it'd still be cool to take down the turkey, but at this point, I really don't care about that thing. Nonetheless, here is our big old Rocky Mountain Bull down, and oh, we hit him three times! Oh, why couldn't I miss that second shot? Why? Oh, okay. I kind of figured we'd get robbed on that first shot, because we definitely got robbed hard. We got the no penetration glitch there, because if you put that thing right in the center of his chest, and you're kind of elevated, like that bullet's going to go all the way through, hit lung, liver, intestine, and probably stick him right in his hind quarter. But then the second shot, that should have counted as no hit. Oh, we got robbed on that one too. Then of course we smoked him at 260, but a beautiful bull, 401. All right, now we got to try and figure out how in the heck we're going to get this beast of a muley buck down. And of course, we're going to be using the Hawk Edge bow. And there he is right there. You can just see the rack sticking out of that grass. The only thing that's going to be difficult about this is the fact that he's actually in that grass. So we're not going to be able to sneak up on him and take the shot. What we're going to have to do is either sneak up on him, get to a spot where we have good cover, and then try and call him out into the open for a shot. Or we'll try and get to a spot where we think he's going to cut back across when he decides to leave. And when he does that, then we can draw back and take the shot. But if you look at the map here, it actually says that this mule deer is going to stop drinking at 1030. It's 1027. So that means that he's not going to be here very long. And we're going to have to go with plan B. That's going to be, we're going to have to figure out where he's going to cut out and try and cut him off. We're not going to have any time to be able to call him in. But either way, there he is right there. 180 yards away from us. So that's pretty sweet. At least we know exactly where he's at. We're kind of just uh, pushing off all these mountain goat here because they're just going to get in the way anyways. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens here. There he is right there. Okay, so I do have the collar. Here. 
And the caller attracts at out to 160 yards. Unfortunately, he's a little bit too far. But it looks like they're about to leave. Did he? Okay. So he didn't leave yet. He's still there. Oh, I really wish there was a spot where there was like a little opening where we could try and call him out to. Because we have a perfect setup here. We have an awesome wind. We have tons of cover all around us here. Just a great, great setup. The only thing is, we got to get to a spot where we can see him when we call him out. Like, if we call him here, he's probably going to stop in this grass and we're not going to have a shot. There is, however, a little pocket right there. And if we could somehow get that buck to come out to that pocket there, I think we'll be setting pretty good. All right, we're going to put out a couple calls right here. And I'm hoping that we get his attention. And I want to try and tuck underneath this spruce tree right here. Come on. Those are all mountain goats walking around us. I haven't seen the buck in a little while. But there's really no reason he should have gone too far. Either, jeez that was loud, either he's going to be coming into the call or he's going to completely ignore it and then eventually trot off in the opposite direction. That's one of those things where we have to kind of wait and see what happens. What a perfect setup right here though, check this out. We literally have full cover right here and our giant buck has got to be right there. That's not him, that's the smaller buck. But he was actually closer to us. So he should have heard that call. And he should be on the way this direction. Oh my god. He's right there. He's 50 yards away. He's literally 50 yards right in front of us. Right there. We got all these mountain goats here, which is not really that good. But also, obviously he's not really interested in the call because he definitely should have came in. I just called right there and uh, it's 50, well that would have been 60 yards, so he should easily be able to hear the call and come in, but for some reason, he ignored it. Don't worry, we'll get his attention. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One more, one more. Okay. Now tuck under cover, tuck under cover. Come on, big buck, come on. I think maybe we should probably call a little bit. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Gotta get in some cover. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing! Holy, that's huge! He's a giant! Oh my god, that thing is impressive. And he's got a sticker on the one side. This might be the coolest diamond that we've ever seen right here. This might be our coolest diamond, true rack muley. I really, really want to get him. Come on, come on. Oh, he's pretty much borderline in range right there, but 60 yards is a little risky when I can barely see the top of his back. But what a giant buck. You know what? If we're patient, he might actually step out right into this opening here. Which will put him at somewhere around maybe 25 yards. Man, if that was him, he would be absolutely smoked right there. Good buck. But he's nowhere near what that other one is. Of course, by the time we get over here, we're going to have like 20 million tracks from different. Oh my God. Thank God I found his track. I was looking for the last five minutes here trying to find his track and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I finally got his track right here. This is the last place that we saw him walking through this way. And then he must have went up this hill. Yep, I got his track right here, guys. Heck yeah, this is going to be awesome. 
All right, so we know he went this way. Looks like he's looping back around this road here. That should be an old track. Yeah, it's an old track. You see that? Or maybe... Ah, oh, I bet what he did was he probably backed... Oh my god, that's probably... That might be him. I think that might be him. Well, it's definitely not him, but it's a buck. It's the buck that he was with. We got turkeys out there. I still don't know exactly where he's at. You won't believe what I just found. 250 yards away from where we last saw that buck. I found another track going up this mountain. And we still have a perfect wind. I'm getting super psyched about this right here. He's climbing straight up to the top. I'll show you right now. Look how far away that last track was. 300. Okay, this track here was an old track of him going back down the hill. So we had two tracks right here. 350 yards away, I found the next track. I can't even believe we got lucky enough to find this track. The only way we found it is because I believed that he kept going up this hill. I believed it. That could be a little bit of a problem. I mean, it might not be super bad if it helps bring that buck back this direction and slows him down because potentially he could be trotting this whole time. But if he's bedded, that could be a little bit of an issue because then we could have just snuck up on him and uh, spot and stalked him. So I'm hoping that maybe he was trotting and it might slow him down a little bit. Because, yeah, look at this track here. That's saying that he was, in fact, trotting. There's another track right here, and that will tell us if it's going to be close or far away. All right, so that means he's kind of far away. And that means we got to start walking a little bit faster. Usually when I say that, they jump up 100 yards in front of me. And I kind of regret saying that, but hopefully in this case, that's not going to be what's going to happen. Ooh, we got a wide, wide open field out here. Wow. What an epic setup. We got tracks right there. And I'm pretty sure that's it. After that, it should be wide open. Let's stay on these tracks. Still trotting, though. So, in fact, he actually might be out there somewhere. Right there. That's got to be him. Where, 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 where? I saw him with my eyes. Now I can't see him. Oh, my God. There he is. Holy, look at the size of that thing. That's exactly what happened, guys. He was up here bedded. And guess what? That mountain lion came through here and jumped him up. So now he's on the move. But at least we know where he's at unbelievable the size of the rack on that buck that reminds me of like the og racks just a massive massive super sweet looking rack on that buck wow all right so now we're gonna do some spot and stock we're gonna try and keep an eye on him from way up here but i do want to turn these tracks off because i hope we don't need them anymore hopefully all right so keep an eye on that buck and I already pretty much lost him. Man, if only I could see embedded out there. Then we would definitely know right where to go. But in this case here... He could be anywhere. But then again, not really. Because we can pretty much see any direction. So if he goes left or right... We'll be able to see him all the way out to like 440. There's no way he went that way. The only way he could have gone and uh, we didn't know is if he went straight north up to this hill here. He could have gone way up there, but I feel like we'd still be able to see. Uh, maybe not. This is very important when it comes to hunting. You got to try and figure out where he went before you go over there. Okay, if I had to guess, I would say this is what happened. 
We spotted him trotting up this hill. He probably looped around up in here. And I bet he's bedded right there, right in this little opening so he can see all the way around this area. But the good thing we have still is we have an incredible wind and we have a really good vantage point. Well, let's try and work our way over there and see what happened here. All right, so now he's actually heading off to the right here. And I think what's going to happen is he's going to go over here to this ledge and probably bed down right behind it on the back side there so he can see anything that comes into range. Still walking. That's a good sign. That's a real, real good sign. But there's the ledge that I was talking about. And he's going to be on the back side of that ledge, I bet. But in all honesty, he could be anywhere tucked up underneath one of these spruce trees here. And we do not want to jump him up at this point. We absolutely do not want to. We finally got him away from all those mountain lions and any other predators in the area. So now the only predator that he really has to worry about is us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. No, 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 no. He's trying to get downwind of us. He's right there. Smoked him! Yes! Oh my god! I mean, I honestly wish we could have waited a little bit longer, but you guys have seen plenty enough of this buck. I had a tiny little gap right there, and if he would have stepped out another 10 feet, he would have been gone. He would have smelled us. We never would have seen him again, and it wouldn't have been worth it. Oh my god, we got him. Oh, I'm so happy to have this giant buck down. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. Not only that, the amount of effort it took to be able to get that thing is just wow. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 321.4 diamond, a giant diamond track muley. And we double lug heart shot at him at 21 yards out. <laughs> what a perfect shot. And look at the rack on that thing. Oh man, that is such a unique, sweet, sweet rack. Definitely one of the coolest racks we've gotten. I love this sticker on this side here. It's got like what? Let's see this. He's got two stickers. Off of his uh, left fork there, literally has two stickers. So he has a total of four points on one tine. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty incredible right there. But a 321.4 blonde diamond muley. And we tracked him from 1.59 miles. That's definitely up there for the farthest and uh, most dedicated diamond that I've ever gotten in Call of the Wild right there. We put a lot, a lot of time into that, and it turned out just so perfect in the end. All I could see was his front shoulder when I stood up there, and I'm like, you know what? If I can put that thing right there, that's money. And that's exactly what we did, and we smoked him. Double lung heart shot at 21 yards. Man, was that intense. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the exact location where we just took down that giant diamond mule deer. We're right in the middle in between Swiss Valley and two fawns. Right up here, here's the ledge that I told you guys about. And I said he's probably going to be better right on the back side of this. And I bet that's exactly what happened. We got close to him. He started to sense something was up. And then he started walking back our direction to uh, catch our scent. And that's where we shot him right there. And it was 1400 in the afternoon. All right, guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge. And here's our giant diamond 321 scoring blonde muley that we just smoked at 25 yards with the hawk edge bow. What a sweet looking buck. And he's got some incredible character on him as well.
But anyways, that probably is our coolest diamond Shurak Muley of all time. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.